Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Alright guys, so we decided to get my new friend here, Jamie. We met on Hostel World, like I told you guys. Sign up for Hostel World, they have good chat. You can meet cool people. We decided to get steak. Lots of meat, look Lots at this. Of steak. Dude guys, this thing is sizzling. Look at it. So they bring the salad, we have rice, we have papas, we got some good I'm trying ready, I'm good. I'm excited to try that. We've got some salsa picante. Hot salsa picante. What are we, we drinking? Like a liter of Huar each. Yes, this stuff is really good. Cheers. Oh, amazing. This is the first stop on the food tour for La Paz. So let's dig in. Very sturdy. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Ooh, you can see the pepper. All right, so you can see the pepper on this. All right, let's try it out. It's different though. It's really different, man. You should try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off because I don't want it to be too cooked. It's a yeah, weird taste. It's like it's got uh, mole in it. Oh, I love mole. I do too. Oh, uh, to me, it tastes, I don't think it does, but it's got that, te that it texture. It tastes a little bit like um, American artificial grape flavor, and I love it. Have you tried it already? It. No, just mole in general. Like it, this, you know like, what they make it with, right? What do they make? Chocolate. It? Uh, Real mole has chocolate in it. <laughs> Ooh, the rice is kind of watery. Yeah, that's delicious. Yeah, it's just got it's different flavor, but it's really good. Yeah, man. So look at this, guys. Look at that steak, and that's only ten ten dollars. $10. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, not, it's, it's very it's strong. Tasty. It's tasty, but like, look what it did to my fork. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, so today we're here in La Paz, Bolivia. We're gonna try some Bolivian food. First time I've done it this week. So, all right, so we've got the charca con, so it's got some, this picante, this is really picante, but it's got a really good flavor. So we've got the salsa, and then we've got dried llama meat. We've got the giant Blanco maíz, the corn. We've got eggs, cheese. It is English or no? Más o menos. Mi español es malo, but entiendes mucho. It's really good. It's drama. The nice people next to me are telling me this is the carne, and this is the llama. So I had alpaca hamburguesa in Peru. Muy delicioso. So the, the llama is really, really, really good. The salsa is phenomenal. This has got, it's hot, it's picante, but mucho sabor. So we're gonna try the papas, the potatoes. That's really good. All right, this is the sun-dried beef. It's really salty. But I like salt, so that works out good. And then we've got the eggs and the cheese. If you guys want to come check this place out, it's right down the hill from Plaza Murillo. So if you like salty food, like this carne is really, really good. The llama is also really good too. I like the corn. The, po the potatoes are delicious. Um, I'm not a big fan of cheese. The, the cheese down in South America, so I'm gonna pass on the cheese, but I'm gonna try the eggs in a moment. So, but guys, definitely, if you wanna check it out, come check out this restaurant, and uh, you'll really, really enjoy it. All right. Yeah, I love trying new things. When I was in Peru, I had guinea pig, alpaca, llama, Everything. Well, it is. <laughs> All right. So, tell tell us a little about a bit about who you are. Well, my name is Max. I've been a tour guide for some years here in La Paz, and well, I can only say that uh, I love my city. Heck yeah, I'm already loving it. Bolivia is very underrated. Yeah, I think it's very underrated. I want to go to South America. They want to go to Brazil, or or actually, Colombia gets a bad rap. Yeah. They want to go to they want to go to Brazil. They want to go to Argentina. They want to go to Chile. Nobody says, oh, I want to go to Bolivia. And they should. Like, this place is so interesting. The people are interesting. The food is really, the food gets, uh, is underrated too. A lot of people are like, oh, Bolivia food? No, you should try it. Like, the food has so much flavor. If you like salty food, the food here is salty, but I love salty, so it works out good. Like, so yeah, definitely check out, check out Bolivia and check out the food. And that's what we're gonna do right now. 
Excellent. So let's let's give this a shot. Yeah, let's give it into this adventure. Please, all right. Go for it. So, all right, let's yeah, see. Wow. Not beef. Huh? It's not beef? It's not beef. But I'll right. help you. Is cerdo? Cerdo? Part of the cow. Part? Corazon? There we go. It's exactly. it's it's a uh, it's the cow heart. It's actually del I've never had cow heart. It's delicious. Really nice, right? Mm hmm It's really, really good. Yeah, the sauce is also great, right? It's peanut sauce. I love it's peanut great. sauce. They they have a lot of that in Thailand and India. Oh yeah? Well, here we, we got peanut in everything, but especially this peanut sauce. Oh man, this is one of my favorite ones. I didn't know they had peanut sauce down here. Mm. Wow, guys, I'm shocked. I probably wouldn't have tried it if I didn't know. Because it's like heart, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's absolutely delicious, and now I like cow heart. <laughs> wow, this is really freaking good. Great. So, all right guys, so that's why you, you always want to try stuff at least once. Because you'd be pleasantly surprised. This is really freaking good. All right, so what is this? That's the api. Api. Yes, All right. as API, you know. It's a very popular drink we have here, a hot one. I would say it's the most popular hot drink we have here, but right now we're getting only part, like almost half of the glass, you know, because in this footy tour, uh, strategically, it's not a good idea to stop yourself in the first stops, right? Yeah. So that's why I tell the ladies just to give, give us only half of the glass, not yeah. full. If you come back here, you order like the regular one, they will give you zoop, a full one. And what is this again? Like what's oh, in it? Api. First, it contains two varieties of corn. That's why you can see these two colors. Yeah, here you can it's see. It's like separate, yeah. Yeah. You can get the white color and the purple color. It's because of the white and purple corn. Two, okay. two varieties of corn, but also some extra ingredients here that you cannot see, but you're gonna taste in a minute. Are cinnamon, clove, and orange skin. All right, so let's mix. Okay, so you said it's intimidating. So yeah, what's, what do we have? It's like a, because they think that it is like a whole thing, you know, like a solid stuff. No, it's it not. It feels like it's got air in exactly. it. Exactly, that's the thing. People feel intimidated for this, but it's not, because this is only air. So you can, whoa, but watch out, it's super hot. See? Oh yeah, okay. And there you go. Now, what you get here inside, inside the doll, you get some cheese. Okay. okay. So, you get like a, this, like a fried empanada, you know? Okay. But this is the nice thing about it. This is what you get here in your, uh, in your pastel, that's how it's called. But here, the thing is that you have to get this thing here. That's why my casita, she brought this. This is some sugar, so this is the way we, we look as we get it. We just go crazy on this. With the sugar. Yeah, get some sugar there. And now you're ready to go crazy with this. All right, we'll do it too. Thing. Here we go. Check this out. All right, so Ooh, look at that. Oh, look wow. how stringy it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. That sugar really sets it off with cheese. Exactly. Heck yeah. Salty plus sugar. Some people say plus sweet. Some people say like, no, you're crazy. How can you mix that? But the combination is great, and you will not let me die. Let, let me lie. This is really freaking good. Wow. All right, now let's try the api. So like in Peru and in Colombia, we have. Uh, chicha, which is like the liquor with the yep. corn. Yep. So it's made. Is it made similar, mm. but without the liquor? This one, you do get. You do get some fermentation, but wow. still. that is good. And you can. You really taste the the cinnamon. Yeah. The cinnamon's really good. Mm -hmm. Chili is one of the most popular hot drinks we have here, but especially this one is the most popular one in places like Cochabamba, Oruro, Potosí, Sucre, almost anywhere in the, in, in Bolivia. Singani sour. All right, what's in it? Well, here you have some um, egg white, lemon juice, ice, cinnamon on top. That's the brown thing, you know. Okay. And yes. And what else? What else? Pisco? Oh no, man! It doesn't have any pisco. Here we have the singani. Singani. Yeah, the singani is the national spirit of the country. Okay. Yeah, that's like, like a liquor made out of grapes. This drink is phenomenal. It has such a good flavor, and I love the lemon. The limon in it is really good. It really tastes right. Mm -hmm. Super nice. You usually get some sugar in it. So is that like wine? It's like almost like a wine, right? 
wine. Is it a wine or is it a liquor? Liquor. It's a liquor? Liquor. This is so good. All right, so what do we have here? We have only a small taste of the pique macho. So here, Jack. Here, potatoes, some onions, and here, there is this potato. These are house of potatoes, you know? Oh, that's the potato I had at the other restaurant. The small ones? Yeah. Great. This one, this is salchicha. Also really nice. Yes. Salchipapa. Sausage. Sausage, some egg, and some beef. Nice. Okay. And here, some chicken and cheese. Okay. And there you go. That's the whole dish. And don't forget the sauce at the bottom. So you want to make sure you dip it in the sauce every time yes. you take a bite? Yeah, okay, because, cool. Because it's, the sauce is really nice. All right, guys. So I got Max here. He's my super tour guide here for the food, beer, and wine tour in uh, La Paz, Bolivia. Um, I just want you guys to, to do the same thing you're going to do for me, hopefully. I want you to go check out his channel. Like, subscribe, watch, and enjoy his stuff. Yeah. So this is Max. <laughs> Guys, this is Max, and yes, I'm like a, I started a project with the name of the channel is the Max Adventure Llama. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys leave a comment on his videos, he can send you his contact information. And then if you want to do a tour directly with him, because his goal is to open up his own tour company one day. Like, subscribe, enjoy, and watch all of our stuff. All right, from Bolivia. Have a great night. Buenas noches.